Today, it is day 13 of declaring God's promises. Amen. And I hope that everyone is um, feeling great and that things are going well and that we have another day of God's grace and mercy in our lives. And so therefore, we should be grateful. Isaiah 54, 10. For the mountains may be removed and the hills may shake, but my kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you. Isaiah 54, verse 9 to 10. This prophecy points to the last days of history when Christ will reign with his people over the nations of the earth. This comes immediately before the final destruction of evil and the creation of new heaven and new earth. When the time comes, God no longer will be angry with Israel because they will be they will be faithful to him. So that's a prophecy, but it's also a blessing. It's also, I'm um, sorry, a promise. So the promise is that for the things like, you know, the mountains may be removed and the hills may be shaken. God's kindness shall not depart from us and his covenant of peace will not be removed for the Lord has mercy on us. Though it seems as the mountains are being removed now and that our world is being shaken I know it's hard to find God's kindness in the midst of it. I know it's hard to find the peace in the midst of it. But the fact that we're still alive, that we're still in our homes, that we still have breath, that we are eating, we are still finding that God's mercy is with us and that his kindness is still enduring with us. I don't think that maybe before all this happened that we actually appreciate it the way we should be appreciating it or are appreciating it now. Maybe we took advantage of a lot of things before all of this. And now we're seeing that the smallest things that we didn't give thanks for or were grateful for is now amplified not just for us to be grateful now but to give god thanks for his mercy for his kindness for he is redeemer and he will redeem time he will redeem what we've lost and he will redeem our game. So as a reflection of today's blessing, or I should say promise, the reflection is to reflect on his mercy for us because we're still here. We're still alive. We'll still be breathing and we're still able to be with our families and we're still able to have a roof over our head and I know right now there's many who are questioning for how long, but if you would turn your face away from the mountains that are being removed, turn your face from the hills that are being shaken, you will find God's kindness and his mercy right there in the midst for us and his grace that is covering us. And because of his kindness and mercy, because there's promises that yet need to be fulfilled, we too will overcome and this too shall pass. And I 
believe that even though the Bible says that that's a promise for time, for a time to come, I feel like we can use that right now as a stake in the ground and, and stand on Isaiah 54, 10, that God, you said that when the mountains will be removed and the hills are being shaken in our lives, God, that you will show your kindness and that you will show your mercy to us. And I feel like, especially in this time, we need to ask God to continue to show his mercy and his kindness towards us and to quickly get rid of this pestilence that's among us. I was looking at um, past history and this is not the first time that our nation has fallen into some type of plague that has wiped out so many people. We've been here before. But the difference is, is that we are now here in this place that we've never thought we would ever um, experience. But here we are experiencing it. I want you to take time to reflect on what you should be doing now. Seek the Lord while he still may be found. And two, rekindle your love with him so that three, you can hear your, your direction for once this thing pass, how can we, how can we be the builders to recover from this? We need to be ready to be able to be a light to the world, a lighthouse set on the hill so that all will come and be restored again into the hope of his glory. And so that's really all I have right now because I just feel like right now we need to spend more time in seeking him and getting our hearts right with him so that we can know how to proceed moving forward. So let's pray, Father. I just thank you, God. I thank you for Isaiah 54, 10, God, that says that even though the mountains are being removed and the hills are being shaken, Lord, that your kindness and your mercy are still with us. And Lord, may they, may they have directed that scripture for a time that has not yet come, but even now in our lives, God, we're feeling like mountains are being shaken. I'm sorry, that the hills are being shaken and the mountains are being removed. Looking at the circumstances of, of families losing their lives and this thing taking over like a plague sweeping through our nation. And Lord, I'm just asking God for your mercy. I'm asking for mercy that will so pass and blow away this disease. God, that you would send the spirit of comforter to the people's homes that are need, in need of comfort right now, God, and that you would break off the fear that has come to torment your people. And so, Lord, I just ask, God, that at this time that we are in our homes, God, that you begin to whisper in our hearts to return back to you, Lord, to see, to turn our face to you, God, and not to the circumstances of the world and not to the situation. Lord, even though we are concerned and even though we know you're concerned, but we know that you, God, have the final say. And so, Father, we're asking for a quick healing, a quick healing to our land, God. Your promise says that you will heal the land with your leaves. And so, Lord, we're just we're waiting for your healing. And, Father, we just thank you for this promise, God. And we will stand and believe and wait for your healing for this nation. And, Lord, we just seal this nation by the blood of Jesus. Amen. So... So I have for today and just continue to pray and continue to see God's face.
and let's get wisdom on how to move forward be blessed and i'll see you again tomorrow same time same place with another promise in jesus name be blessed amen